Hey guys, welcome to Chocolate Sweets and thank you guys so much for stopping through and checking me out. As always, it's highly appreciated. Um, today's video is a Elf um, Studio Store um, review and haul. Um, yeah, I went to the Elf Studio Store in um, Manhattan, New York and I wanted to talk about the store and what I picked up from the store. Okay, y'all, if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, I love e.l.f. products. They are affordable. Um, they are, they're pretty good products for, for the price. You get some really cool palettes. Um, they have like an essential line and then they have a studio line. So when I heard that e.l.f. had an actual store, you know, like uh, Mac has a store, Sephora, Ulta. So when I found out that e.l.f. had an actual store and I was going to... New York for spring break, um, I went by the store. Now, as far as the store goes, let's say that um, I was a little disappointed in the store. Um, number one, when you walk into the store, um, no one greeted me. No one said, hello, how are you doing? Can I help you find anything? No one greeted me. Um, so that was the first thing, you know, as opposed to when you go in other makeup stores, you're always greeted. Someone's eager to help you buy makeup. So that didn't happen at the Elf store. Um, and I don't hold that against the products because I've been using the products. That's just people. Um, and then second, uh, the other thing was if you're not a makeup wearer and you wanted to, um, get into some makeup or try to find your, uh, corrective color or your foundation shade you absolutely got no help with that either there was no one in there quote unquote makeup artist helping you find makeup so you pretty much have to already know what you like from the elf products and what you're actually looking for um when you go into the elf store uh, because there's really no one in there or at least no one offered to help me um look for anything um so yeah, and then the other thing is, it's the Elf Studio Store. So they had all studio products. Their studio line products was all they had. They had a little wall of their essential products, which their essential products is quote unquote, their lower end is usually in the white packaging. Um, so I was a little disappointed in that because I was actually looking for um, some of their essential line uh, liquid lipsticks. I love their liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to have to continue to get those offline off their website. Um, Elf does have a website, of course. It's eyeslipsface.com. They're always running some type of um, sale online. Uh, buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one 50% off. Save $10. Off. They're always offering some great sale online. That's usually when I do my online shopping which I will um, mean that I don't live in New York. I live in North Carolina. So um, I will hardly ever be going to the store. And at this point, I see no point in going in the store either. Um, I would just continue to order the products that I love from e.l.f. online. So the store itself for me was a bummer um, because, you know, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But now on to the haul. This big bag of stuff is what I got. They And the other thing, nothing was on sale. Everything was just a regular price. So I really probably could have gotten these items much cheaper had I just came home and placed an order online when it went on sale. But it was my birthday and my husband told me to get what I want. So I did. So let's start with... Um, so this is a high definition powder by e.l.f. Um, I got it in sheer. Um, I normally use the um, LA uh, LA color high tra translucent powder or the NYX. So I picked up this um, and hoping that it will help with some of my shine. So I picked that up. Um, I picked up a contouring kabuki brush. This particular brush has an angle to it. So, that was one of the main reasons why I picked up that brush. If you can see that angle, it has an angle to it. It's really, really soft, um, just like the other one that I have. Um, I picked up quite a few packs of the Makeup Remover Exfoliating Cloth. 
I love these cloths because one side has an exfoliating side and one side is a smooth side. So if you ever looking for some good cloths, inexpensive, I think these run about $3 a pack and you get 10 sheets. But if you catch them online, you know, you get a good sale. So I got about three packs of those. Um, and then I got uh, this perfect finish high definition um, powder. So this is supposed to be a finishing powder. So, and I got that too in sheer for my makeup bag that I'm starting to carry in my purse nowadays. Um, all right, I did get a foundation stick. Like I said, I was going on my own in there. This particular one is in coffee. So I will be trying, um, trying it out and seeing, oops, sorry, trying it out and seeing, you know, being that I didn't find, I, you know, guys, I'm not a big high end girl. So I may be, um, biting a bullet one of these days and stepping in and going and getting some foundation. So that's the foundation. It looks like it may blend well. We will see when I play around with it. We will see. Um, I got some bronzers, you know, I, this is from their essential line. This is in, um, sun Kiss. I love their bronzers. I usually use those as a highlight. So I really love those. Um, this is another bronzer and this one is in warm tan. I really love elf bronzers. I love, I love them. Um, this right here is an acne fighting gel. I never used it before, but I picked it up just to see. It's infused with um, salicylic acid, tea tree, and aloe. So, I've been having a couple breakouts around my eyes. So, we're going to see what happens, right? Um, this is a lipstick, Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick. And this is in Touch of Berry. Let me watch that for you. That's the packaging. And that's what. It. so it is a nude if you guys can see it right there it is a nude so I got that and then this is another one and this was in touch of nude yes it, it looks nude too <laughs> yeah so that's the nude right there yeah, so those, and I love the packaging on those. Those are really nice. Okay, that's for somewhere else. Okay, this is a, um, this is baked blush. This is in peachy cheeky. They didn't have many colors either of things. So I was really disappointed in the store. I really was. Um, this is a foundation palette for medium to dark. Um, so... This is a foundation palette for medium to dark. So we'll see how that works out. Um, this is an eye refresh because I am getting older and I'm noticing that I am getting dark underneath my eyes. So I picked that up. All right, this is another... Um, baked blush this is in passion pink so that's another blush and then i got some um eyelid primer um this one is in sheer i love their eyelid primer as well and then the liquid lipsticks that i went in for um this one is baby lips it's a nude um this one is raspberry This one is Ruby Slipper. So I love their liquid lipsticks. I keep these in my purse all the time. So I got those. And then I, I got um, their uh, Volumizing and Defining Mascara. I love this mascara as well. And then this is a brow pencil with the spoolie on the top. And this one is in Deep Brown. Yeah, so I got those. And then last but not least from e.l.f., um, I got two matte magics. These are matte misting sets. So they're supposed to um, 
help your makeup stay matte. So I did pick up two of those. I already used their uh, mist and set, but this is supposed to be matte to help your makeup stay matte. So I picked those up. And then, unfortunately, I went um, into Sephora in Times Square and picked up two Anastasia um, liquid lipsticks. Um, one in Pansy and one in Orchid. So, let's see. Let's, let me share these with you guys as well. Um, but my overall, this is the, um, this is the Pansy. That's a real pretty purple. That's the Pansy. It's a real pretty purple. And then this one is the Orchid. I can get it out. So yeah, my L Studio store um, haul was pretty simple. Um, like I said, I can't get the damn gone thing out, y'all. I was a little disappointed, but nonetheless, I still love the products, um, and I will continue to buy them. All right, this is the orchid, and it's a pink. Ooh, that's a bright pink. Yeah. So that was my Elf Studio Store review and haul. Um, you guys be blessed. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. And you guys have a great day. Toodles.